Right, we have her out and we look inside here. She looks really good. Uh, as a matter of fact, I still see uh, cross hatches on that young sonar walls right there, so it's good. Well, that's straight up good. I mean, there's no carbon. Yeah, no carbon coming through. I mean, just carbon, no oil. Uh, so what we have here is an aluminum and a steel. And with the motor in this position, <clears throat> the aluminum goes on top and the steel goes on bottom, which the aluminum is the intake and the steel is the exhaust. Because here, you know, you go right here. <clears throat> we'll look at the tappets. There's a little wear, but they're in good shape. They're still in good shape. I mean, they're like new. <laughs> Lobes on the cam are just fine. Oh, yeah. Almost like a brand new motor. I got some gunk on it right there. I need it off. Get that off there. And <clears throat> the compression relief's working. So there, we're good there. <clears throat> Long and short of that is the bouncing around and hitting all them stumps and everything. What they did is this, the valves just got loose and came off. The, so no compression. I mean, it was just blowing back through the motor is what it was doing. Uh, so it wouldn't crank, you know. That's what it's wrong with it. Uh, this little booger right here, when you go to put this all back together... Look at the back side of this shaft. I mean, this case, the sunk, <clears throat> you've got a, this right here, that bar right in the middle. Goes right in the middle of that. So you have to make sure that they're lined up. Uh, that's why you don't just wedge them down in there. And even though it's got a little slant here and here, it don't matter. And this thing moves back and forth. See? It's like counterbalance. <laughs> there you go. Motor's in real good shape. Everything's tied on it. Yep. So we're going to put it back together and uh, put the valve caps back on right here. Back on the valves. And uh, put new gaskets on it. Put a new seal in it. New seal on all the gaskets on. Uh, there's some I'm not going to have to replace, but all of them i'll put uh this one on right here because it goes there and then i when i pop the flywheel off i'll put this one on and then we got carb gaskets uh, head gasket i don't need to fool with because uh well i'm not pulling the head on it i don't need to there's nothing wrong with it enjoy there you go nanny nanny shots bought and all that other good shit that's the project Got to get something to lay around here. Probably get me a newspaper or something and cut a hole in it and just lay it down so I can emery cloth that shaft off right there. Clean it up real good. That way it don't eat that seal up. Bye.